Good morning, this is America's Man's Man, and that would be the seatbelt indicator. I don't wear it, but it's gonna get annoying if I leave it off this video. Um, anyway, how you doing today? So who is America's Man's Man? Well, we have the wisdom of an older generation that's long gone by. See, the problem with millennials, real problem if you get down to it, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're dumb. When I say they, this is how I evaded the millennial, the great millennial brainwashing. <laughs> it's uh, it's media that, that is the, the primary culprit that Satan's been using, by the way. Um, and I do worship the Christ. I am a Christian. Um, millennials uh, reacting to this. <laughs> oh, he's a Bible thumper. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, I, I like to, I like to thump the Bible I find it useful to thump people over the head with. No, um, no, I, I believe in the Bible because it is God's word, all 66 books. Merging. Again, if you're ever in Massachusetts, rotaries are circles of death. It's one of those stupid Massachusetts things, and I, I grew up with them. Uh, anyway, a lot of... Um, a lot of rebellion in the church in Massachusetts. I would say that Massachusetts is the seat of Satan in the United States, and uh, I stand against it. Uh, I don't know if I'm the only one or not, but uh, for the time being, America's man's man. Uh, oh, who is America's man's man? America's man's man is inside the heart of every man who feels that responsibility, who knows that God's given us a blessing uh, as someone, I say this as someone who worships the Christ, uh, who is, uh, whose Lord and Savior is Jesus Christ, uh, whose mission, primary mission, is to make disciples of all nations. And it starts right here in the United States. America's man's man is that part of you which has been lulled to sleep by the mainstream media, by Silicon Valley for commercial interests, uh, which designed to exploit you and your family, which are designed to rob you of your birthright. America's man's man is that part of you which God has given in you. America's man's man is the seed of greatness deep within your soul, which is the Christ living in you, the image of God in which you, yes, you were made. Praise God, right? America's man's man is in every man, woman, and child in America who was blessed with the great gift of citizenship here, or maybe those who are pursuing it the legal way even, um, citizenship. America's man's man is in the heart of every man, woman, and child here in the United States who confesses Jesus Christ as Lord just like those Puritans who bravely sailed across the sea at the call of God. America's man's man is the seed of greatness in every man, woman, and child in America. And it's been buried. It's been buried by layers and layers of fear. Fear that you've been submerged in. Over the years, it started with, uh, probably before broadcast, but that's when it really kicked in. The pastors, the pastors, those Puritan pastors of colonial days of old, right here, north of Boston, which is now the seat of Satan. Satan's turned God's country against itself, right here. This man stands for Jesus Christ in the Sodom and Gomorrah that Massachusetts is today. And so I'm here, sent by God to awaken you. That's right. God put me here to awaken, to rekindle that inherent sense deep within you, the Christ living within you, the Holy Spirit living within you, the very fingerprints of God deep within your soul, the seeds of greatness that God has endowed you with to be his good, and faithful servant. You've heard of the parable of the talents. There were three men. Three men. One was blessed with many talents. 
the next man was blessed with lesser talents and the other man was blessed with lesser talents still. And God, well, in the parable that, uh, that Jesus tells us, the master, who is God, gave those talents to those servants and the one who was given the most invested his talents wisely and the, ne the one who was given the next uh, most in the amount of talents also invested his talents wisely but the, the servant who was given the least the servant who was given the least he buried his talents in the ground because he was afraid of losing it. My American brothers and sisters and all of you across the world, and thank you for, for subscribing to the America's Man's Man blog uh, right now at americasmansman.wordpress.com. May I challenge you today to not resist that little nudge of conscience within you, that seed of the gospel which has been so lulled to sleep by the mainstream media and even by the Twitter feed or the YouTube channel which is surrounding you right now, just glittering with a million different distractions to steal your heart away from your great American purpose. I'm here, sent by God to awaken the man's man, America's man's man, living deep in your heart. Let him awaken. The time has come to awaken, to serve God, and to let the America's man's man come alive within you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, for God and country, for America, for Jesus Christ, here, just north of the hub of the universe. <laughs>